Okay guys, it's Devious Dawn here, and I'll make this real quick video to um, show you guys how to make a winch out of a servo. This is my second time making this video. First time I made it, the camera that I was using just did not pick up no sound, which was this camera I usually use on my drone. This is, I don't know, it's a dash cam, but it's pretty good, but it didn't pick up any sound. For some reason excellent picture shit sound so we're gonna do this real quick because i've already made this once already and okay so you have your basic servo this is a 15 kg hex fly you're going to want to use a more powerful powerful servo the 15 is a decent decent sized servo this is what i use in my truck it's about a 10 to 12 pound truck, and it's got enough power to lift itself up. It can lift itself up in the air. So, step one, you're going to loosen all these screws. Okay, take the servo apart like you normally would. You take the servo apart. This is what you, this is what you see. Oops, backwards. Metal gears. These ones are a little, little wonky because I've already had this one apart. This is a bad servo. Now, when you take it apart, you will see that you will have a bearing right here. You want to leave that bearing there. Okay? Now, after you take that apart, you pull these gears off. Remember the order. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Now, the most important part of making a servo winch is this right here. this okay you are going to want to take this and you want to get this at center by turning it see it turns at center the motor will not be running if it's off center or zero it'll be running it'll be running you have to get it at zero where the servo is absolutely not running at all. Otherwise, when you turn on your truck and you have a winch, it'll be trying to crank the winch the whole time. You have to get this at zero. Once you have it at zero, you're going to take some super glue. I suggest a really fast setting glue. And you take this where it's at zero. And you dab some super glue down in there. Okay, you don't want to get a whole bunch around the edges here because this one doesn't have it here either. Okay, this one is a messed up. But you will have a bearing. You will have a bearing in here. There will also be a piece of plastic with a, a slot in it that matches this slot. Okay, you're probably going to have to use heat. Okay, so take a torch some sort of heat a heat gun may work i don't know a hair dryer will not work this is what i used okay i hit this here five seconds just enough that you can take a small tiny little screwdriver of some sort or even some little pliers or pliers <laughs> tweezers like this something and you want to pull that plastic out of there I'm going to put the bearing back in there. You're very important. You need a good bearing. You need that bearing there. And you need the bearing on the outside here. And there'll be a little rubber O-ring here for a waterproof servo. And keep that O-ring intact also. Right here you'll see there'll be a little pin. Okay. I'm going to pull that little pin out. The pin's actually very easy to come out. I was able to just take a pair of regular pliers. Grab a hold of it. Pop it right out of there. That's done. Now, once you have all that finished, um, now, I let the glue set overnight for this to make sure it's right. And before the glue sets 100%, plug it in every once in a while, make sure it's got power. And you want to set it at zero while it's under power, so you can tell. Check it a lot. Make sure that you have power. And... Make sure your motor's not running. That'll screw you up completely. That's one of the most important things. That is one of the most important things. Pulling the piece of plastic out of here. Leaving the bearings in. And intact. 
You're pulling that pin. When you have those things done, when you buy a new servo, you usually will get. I got these servos. See that one? Don't. I don't have the thing. But when you get a new servo, P Metal Gear. This is a Tower Pro MG995 and a Tower Pro MG996. These are really good servos and these are really cheap. I got these 25 bucks for, for four of them. And then I got these. When you get a new servo, you'll most likely get a, a thing of parts like this. Which one? Sorry, pull the rubber. I don't know out of there. Okay, now, you can do this with any of them. But most likely you're going to want to use the round one. Whoops, dropped it. You're going to want to use this. Okay. Now granted, you can use... On the one I'm using in my truck, I use this one. And I just clipped off the extra zip. Is this what you're going to end up with? This is a sewing bobbin. Oh, sorry guys. This is a sewing bobbin. Okay. And as you can see here on this one, you see the bearing? You want that bearing on there that goes here. Okay. That help keeps it straight. You can see the bearing I have on there. Alright. Now. It's a sewing bobbin. You're going to want to get a screw that threads in to the top of there. Well, anyway, I can't get this out. But as you can see, you know, this, this pops onto there. Bam. You take the sewing bobbin and you attach the sewing bobbin. Like I have it here. You see the screws I have in there? That will attach the bobbin to there. Okay. Now I got rubber bands around the string here. These are just some washers because this screw is a little bit too long. Okay, now here's, here's a really good tip. When you have these sets from the servo, you will get the little rubber bushings. You will get these little rubber bushings with the servo these little rubber bush bushings are the exact size that fit down the center of this bobbin okay you're going to want to take a couple of those things see this is why the screw is so tight in here and that's why it's actually threading out right now instead of just pulling out okay See, you take that little bushing and you stick it down in there and it'll stop that bobbin from just being all over the place. All servo kits come with these little rubber bushings. They just stick right down in there. You stick the screw down in there too. And after it's attached to that black thing, you run the screw down and attach the screw to the gear. But, you want to attach the screw to the gear after this is in here. So you want to put the whole servo back together first. That's an important thing. I don't have it done or shown here. You want to have the, all the servo put back together first. All gears and everything. So it's like, pretend I have all the gears in here. That thing's sticking out. Then, you want to attach the black thing. So it'll be looking like that. It'll be looking like that, okay? Once you have all that done, that's it. Your winch is done. There's a couple of key tricks. You've really got to watch out for. You want to make sure you get this right here at center or zero so that the servo is not running under power. Super glue that. Save all your gears. Use a metal gear servo. Plastic gear will just grind.
is a Metal Gear Servo. Use a plastic, round one, any one you got really. You know, you can attach a servo to it, and whatever sticks out, you just clip off with a pair of clippers. Like I said, I use this one. Any any of these will work, okay? Any servo set comes with those, those rubber anti-vibration bushings. You can stick these down the center of your servo, or the, the bobbin. I call it a bobbin. You stick those down the center of the bobbin. It'll keep it from spinning all out of whack. And once you put it back together, that's it. Then you can do some stuff like this. Okay, this is a Gen 7 Pro. Okay, this is a Gen 7 Pro. You can see my finished setup right there. There's my bobbin. I have steel cable on it. You can get something like this right here. I picked this up at Walmart. It was like two or three bucks. It's a picture hanging kit. Okay, it'll hold up to 30 pounds. And I just took that cable out of it, wrapped that cable up on there. Okay, this bumper had a winch roller but it was missing so I just made that little plate I drilled a hole in it once again right there I used one of them rubber bushings and one of them little brass bushings to come with it now I made this skid plate here for my gen 7 which protects all my servos and everything and actually moves with it you can see my winch servo in there you can see my steering servo back there also my camera will focus here okay it's all back there there it is i actually made this little bracket here it comes off my uh body come on focus and it came off my body okay got it all mounted this thing will lift itself enough weight so anyway this is FPV Devious Dawn. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Share this video. Follow the directions. If you have any questions, just ask down below and I'll answer them. And uh, that's it. Have a good one.